Hello, and welcome to another brief demonstration of new features coming up in the next Papyrus RT release. Today, we'll have our first look at inheritance in the state machine diagram. So let me start with a very simple model. I have a capsule, and I'll add a state machine to that. So as usual, we see the initial contents of a state machine. And I'll go make some small changes to that. Maybe I'll add another state here. Oops, I always have to try twice the first time. And I'll redirect this initial transition over here. Send another transition out that way. You know, maybe from there we'll go to a choice point, whatever. So that's fine. Let's save what we've done so far. And we can see a bunch of uh, content now created in our state machine here in the Explorer. So that's all well and good. Now let's go over here. Let's create, let's make this thing a subclass of capsule one, like so. There we go. There's the generalization and create a state machine here. So now, because capsule two is a subclass of capsule one, we don't create the usual default initial contents of its state machine because the state machine of this capsule now uh, redefines the inherited state machine. So let's have a look at what that looks like. There it is. So once again, as we've seen with capsule structure diagrams, inherited elements are shown in this ghosted color, and they follow around the diagram the shapes of things in the parent capsule diagram. So that's good. We can, of course, also, you know, unfollow these things uh, according to the needs of our layout. So that all works as we would expect. We can also, uh, so what I'm showing also here in the Model Explorer here, we're seeing all of the inherited content because as for structure, we have this optional facet customization that is not enabled by default, but which I've enabled here for demonstration purposes to show the inherited content. So in effect, all of this is inherited, so we don't need to show it in the Explorer until we go and do something like exclude. So if we exclude, say a transition, it goes away from the diagram, of course, and it shows up now in the Explorer with the little decoration showing that it's excluded. We can also exclude states, of course, and when we exclude a state, uh, it has transitions associated with it that are implicitly also then excluded. So this transition that was going out from that state is now excluded. Of course, all of this can be undone as necessary, and we see the model revert to the way it was. Pseudo states cannot be excluded. It doesn't make sense to exclude these in the inherited inheriting state machine, so we don't get the option to exclude these elements. And of course, we can't delete them either uh, because uh, inherited elements could only be excluded if they could be uh, removed from this context in any way at all. And the way Papyrus is architected, the delete action is always enabled optimistically, even if there's some constraint in the system that prevents eventually the deletion of the element. 
So there you have a brief first look at inheritance in the state machine diagrams. Thank you.